Can you illustrate how, how you created those panels and bars that, that we have seen in the beginning yeah. when you had the, the glass panel? Because obviously you could be using objects for these purposes that you have already designed, but if you want to create something like that, slanted uh, railings, then yeah. the objects would not be distorted accordingly. So yeah. it's better to let the software to edit this by itself, so create this, this by itself. So let's see how that's done. I think this is a good point where we can go and uh, dive deeper into the settings. And now we can see some, some of these options that were not enabled before are enabled here. So these, this is the, somewhere uh, the, the trick here. That there's something called a neural post. And actually, that's, uh, as you can see it here, this is, uh, this is something that the software will create to the point where you set up a node. Mm -hmm. So if, the, if you click somewhere, that's a, that, that will be a new post. If you click some other place, and if you insert nodes, those are the uh, places where you can distinguish them somehow. Because, for example, they have a different cross-section or a different material, uh, you can change them. I will have a better example for that, but this is also something that was created here. There is another thing uh, which is called the balusters by big steps, uh, which is you know in between those things. Like turning points, the ending point. And they are called uh, balusters by big steps because the regular balusters, they have their regular step. And uh, there is this this balusters by big steps. So so they just have they just give us give us a rhythm, and in between those uh, um, rhythm divisions, there will be the distribution of the the primary balusters at the end. But actually now we do not have primary balusters uh, because uh, we we cannot see them. We do have panels and bars, and the, the panels and bar system is like this. When you start from scratch, this is, is fully empty. You can add uh, a, an object, which is literally an object from somewhere that you have created or, or downloaded somewhere. You can add the bar, and you can add a swap profile, and you can, you can also add the frame. Now, frame is something that will give us a look like this. You can set up the cross-section of that frame. You can uh, change its uh, position, its height. You can change its width, its thickness, its uh, thickness, and you can even uh, turn on or off the visibility of any of mm -hmm. these items. A bar is like this. It's a, it's a, it's a horizontal part of this uh, design. Uh, you can change its length, thickness, and whenever you select any of these, see that they, they have their own property list. They have detailed properties about the material, whether they, are, they should be tilted or not, uh, how they are adjusted or not, how they are offset from the path or not. So you can, you can fully customize them. Now, the only difference between these bars is their position, as you can see. And there is one another thing, which was, this was created by an object, and this is just a simple cube uh, stretched and, and, and uh, changed uh, along the, given a glass material the size and, and you know, just creating a panel. Mm -hmm. Um, so this, this is how it's built up, and uh, when, whenever the software is using this system instead of a fully designed fixed object that contains everything and is stored in the library, uh, this is something that the software can you know distort when the when the path uh, changes that way, and then you know this will just as you can see here it will be slanted or not when when it's when it's uh, important. How do we, assuming that we create something like this, how do we save that for future use? Uh, for that, uh, we will use the, the, the railing. But before, before we, we cover that, let me just show you one another thing, because we did not cover um, this thing here. And this is about the, the, the big steps. Oh, yes. Um, well, for example, here, uh, I, have an, I have a situation where I'm satisfied with the result here. I, I'm, I'm completely fine with this, uh, but here, this is just, you know, the, the rhythm is too dense. I just would like to see one single panel, not two. Um, as you can see, these tiny icons, uh, those are representing the sections of the staircase that you, cre that you created. If I click here, I mean, the, sorry, the railing that you have created. If you click here, you will see four of them because this is one, two, three, oh, so it's always and four in the sections. It's, it's always in the middle, in, in the center. So, if I go here and I would like to change this section here, I can go, I will still see the same railing settings, but, but in this case, I'm only working on the first part of two. And then I can make any sort of changes. For example, I can uh, disable the balusters by big steps. So it's removed from there now. Yeah, so now it's one single panel. Yeah, and then I can just say, okay, I'm fine with that, and this is what happens then. I see. 
So you can fully customize even piece by piece because sometimes, yeah, okay, the rule is that and it's, 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 uh, it's fine for, for most of the uh, railing path, but there are specific situations when I need to change only a tiny bit uh, to, to find myself in the, in, the, in the proper position.